Right, oh, we're back. We're going to be doing a bit of a mishmash of different things today with this uh, mould I've had for quite a while. I'll show you. It comes in like a set of three different size trays. But um, I had a little play about with it yesterday. Um, got some really good effects in this one. Um, and you can get bezels for these, but I can't source them in the UK at the moment. They're 38 millimeters. And for some reason there's none in stock in the UK, but you can get them. But for, for now, I just use the pinch barrel. But we're gonna do a mishmash of different things today. Um, let me zoom out for you. So this is the tray. Like I said, it comes in a set of three different sizes, but we're gonna be working with this one today. It comes really big dome but what I've done is I've cut these out because I only wanted to make two and the problem with these big ones is that once you set them sit them down you end up with a flat um, base so I had to kind of cut a hole in the box and kind of drop it into the box so it, it doesn't create that dimple so but I'll, I'll use those ones on a different tutorial and it comes in a smaller size but we're going to be working on this one so I think there's 15 in total. We're not going to use them all. In this row, I'm just going to use alcohol inks. In this row, I'm going to add some sparkle with the Marabou alcohol ink, the rainbow one. This row, I'm going to add black after the alcohol inks. And in this row, we're going to go back with the cloud technique. So I've got my resin pre-mixed. Just been letting that settle and good news as well I now have a basic membership so it's £1.99 one pound 99 for the UK I think that equates to about two pounds seventy dollars or something like that two two pounds seventy dollars uh, two dollars seventy something like that and, and that will give you badges for the comments and also access I'll be uploading every now and again just some macro photography of my pieces in the community tab um, and that will be just for members only so I will be working on more tiers for the membership eventually and two tutorials in one week I will be hoping to bash lots out soon obviously I've had the wedding and stuff and I'm trying to trying to work on my TikTok. But I do want to bring more content to YouTube. Even if it's definitely one a week, maybe two at a push, if I get time. I might have to measure out some more resin, but if I do I'll pause the video and continue. If you haven't got to watch me stir up more resin. I think I may have to. I suppose what I could do is just one with a black and then see how many clouds we can get. But I also need some mix for the cloud technique. Yeah, I think I'm going to mix some more. See if I can get one more out of this. Doubt it. Yep, but I'm going to pause it and be back with more resin. That's better. And what I've done is in this small cup for the cloud technique, I've just put some resin in there. And right, we're going to start dropping some inks. Uh, welcome new subs. I think I've gained around about a thousand since the last tutorial the other day. So uh, welcome to you guys. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for my returning viewers. have some fun what I think I'm gonna do first is shake up the let's lock my focus there you go shake up my marabou again I'll put the product links into the description so we're just gonna put a couple of drops in each one of these because otherwise I'm gonna forget because it will form a ring so we just need to stir this in and then whilst we're doing the alcohol inks on this side 
uh, we can come back to it and agitate it a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Just let that settle. Right. This one yesterday, I really like how this one come out. I've locked my focus, haven't I? I really love how this one come out. And that was using coffee, red and orange. So we're going to try that one again. But that, look at that. We're going to hopefully get the same results with that. So what I did was I added coffee. orange and the red and these are the let's resin vibrant alco inks and the resin obviously is my usual the uh, let's resin one one again all links will be in the description for you now we're going to shake our white again for those new in this bottle here I've just put my sea white deeper and then we're just gonna tap those I might come back and add a little bit more because it was probably gonna have some negative space and then the others I'm just going to have a little bit of fun with. So I'm going in with my favourite, the peach red. Making a mess. We'll go with some purple. And we'll go with some blue. This is the sky blue. Drop a couple of drops in there. And again with a white. Now this one up here, I'm gonna go back in with some more coffee in this space. And then just hit the other colors. And this one down at the bottom, we're gonna go with some emerald green. Let's try some green and yellows. Green, yellow, actually yeah, I'm going to drop some yellow on that green as well, just to brighten it out. And then we'll go for a red. And again with the white. Right, so on to the next row. We are going to stir this up a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit out of this one. I think there's a bit too much. And it can sink in this one. Give it a good stir. And what you find, what I found sometimes with the Marabou alcohol inks, because it sits on the surface, when you add the inks, they don't spread as fast. So sometimes you can get a lot of colour just into one piece. So we're going to see what happens. Let's take you down so you can actually see. Should have done that at the beginning, really. Focus. There you go. So that's the peach red in there. Go with some purple, some yellow. It's kind of spreading as normal today, but sometimes it doesn't spread as fast. You can see the other ones are zoomed in now. A bit of negative space in there, we'll come to that afterwards. Green, let's go with some purple, and then I'm going to hit these 
and then just add some white on its own there. Just see what, I'm hoping I can draw that white through the other colors and give a really good feathering effect. We shall see. Right, let's go with some more orange in this one. I think orange, yellow and green in this one. A couple of drops. And the green. Right, so now we're on to, we're gonna add some black after we've added the colors. Gives a different cool effect if, when it works, if and when it works. But we don't add any white to the black because we want the black to sit in the background. See if we can go with four in this one. So now we tap those with the white. And we're just gonna let that settle. We'll move on to the other ones and we'll come back with the black after we've done these ones. Go with some red. What other colors have I got? Let's go with some, um, an ocean blue, let's try an ocean blue. Have I opened it? No, nope. I'm not messing about with that. Let's try. Mm, turquoise. No, that's not open either. Rose red. I know we've got red in there already. And we'll go with some green because I haven't opened the turquoise and tap the all right last one in this row and then we'll add the black I might um, well I will eventually do some lives and then you can interact you can name the colours. I've, I've, I've do it on TikTok. I've done it on TikTok um, a couple of times, and just let the viewers kind of decide what I do. It's just fun interaction, really. Let's pop some white down there on its own. Right. So now, <clears throat> I hope this works. It's worked in the past, but I've also had some bad ones. We're shaking up our black and I'm just going to drop it into any negative space that I've got and you'll see it pushing those colors inwards and then what we do is once that's settled we'll just come back and add a little bit more white to the colors same with this one here just negative space and this one here still dancing away Just like that. Right, so we're just going to see how that settles. Whilst we're we're waiting for that to see how that goes, we will mix up our white into our resin. So you do need quite a lot in this for it to work. And then you just mix that in. I haven't done this technique since the last tutorial, to be honest with you. So I'm hoping I can pull it off again because I haven't had a practice run. So that is ready to go. So we're just gonna move back to these and drop our inks and we're not gonna drop any white. Oh, that's squirted out. Squeezed it too hard. 
add a bit of purple. Let that settle. This one. And the rose red. I'm never going to remember which colours I put in these. I'll have to watch it back afterwards. Sky blue. What else should we go for in there? I kind of want them as really vi as vibrant as possible. Let's go for a bit of yellow. And what else? Do, do, do. Let's go for where's my orange? A bit of orange. We just want these to spread out nicely. What I'm going to do on one of these, I'll show you. Actually, I'll tell you when I'm doing it. But it, it's really, it can be really cool if it works. It's kind of a merge between the cloud technique and feathering. I was going to do a separate tutorial for it. I could still do one, but whilst I'm here, I might as well show you the cool effects. It can give you. Squeezing these bottles too hard. I'm not even showing you what I'm doing. Daniel. Terrible camera skills. Let's go in with some purple in this one as well. So now we just want to get rid of any negative space that we've got. Because we want that white to push through. So I'm just going to go in with some other colours that I've not added. I put yellow in that one, didn't I? Come back to this middle one. Some blue. Orange back down here, put some orange in there, and I think we're good to go with the white. Just make sure I've definitely got enough in there. Just added a few more drops, right. Now the fun part. Should I drizzle or should I pour? Just drizzle. So we're just going to drizzle that. Doesn't matter how you drizzle it, and that will sink down. Move up to the next one. It really does brighten the colours up as well. Hopefully it will give us some good effects. Or just some blobs. As I say, I've not done this since my last tutorial. So anything can happen. Right, now what I said I was going to do on one of them is show you something that I was going to do a separate tutorial on. And that is, we've got our white again. We are just going to, just a few drops on the back. And hopefully you'll be able to see afterwards, if it works, the merge between the two techniques. Right, so we now leave these for an hour and we'll be back for the stir. Catch you in a bit. Right, we're back for the stir. As you can see on this, this one here, we've already got some feathering going on. And again, we wanna do this when you've got like a slight stringy consistency to the resin, um, gives the best effect. So we're gonna just start swirling these around one at a time. And we're gonna, we can go a little bit deeper with a stick in these. 
and what I'll do is I'll try and get that strange kind of like a bucket effect that I get in some pieces I'll try it on a few of them and you'll see when I demold if it works I've got a bit of negative space here but we're not going to worry about that we're going to start with a pinky colour and then as we're swirling we're just going a little bit deeper into the centre and as we draw it up if we kind of ripple it like a donut shape hopefully it will give that weird effect afterwards that you'll see and this one we'll start with a green and just every time you're taking the stick out just wipe it clean Right, run to the glitter row. Start with that pink. Just draw it around. And again, going a little bit deeper. And then we'll just let that blob. All right, and this is the one that I just had the white in the um, area down here on its own. So we're just going to draw that through the purple. Hopefully, it will draw through quite nicely really thick this time like so a little bit of negative space down there but that's fine and this one we'll start with the yellow and what I'll have to do Afterwards, it's just give it a quick blast with a torch just to make sure I've not created any bubbles inside. Right up to the ones where I added black. I know I said that I was going to add more white to the colour, but I didn't think I needed to. The colours have kind of stayed perfectly fine. So we're going to just start with the red. Sorry, I'm losing focus. And just twirl it around on the top. Move down. Try and start with this really cool pinky colour. Through the green. And then up and again just gonna loop that round and let that sink back down into itself I love this one and we'll start with the white again Spread it around on top and I'm going to lay that part down and just see what happens when it's cured. To get this kind of what I'm looking for, it does need to be quite thick, which it is. Really thick. Right now, we don't normally stir the cloud technique. Or do we? I can't remember. It's been that long. Um, as I say, the last time I did it was with the collab with Miri Mir um, Miriam's Nature. Um, so we're going to start, we'll stir this one. This is the one that I added the white in afterwards, isn't it? So we're just going to give that just a, just a little stir, not too deep. And again, just let that fall off the stick. Just double checked because I doubted myself and it, I'm, it, they definitely do need stirring, I'd forgot. It's been so long. So we're just going to swirl around anyway on these ones. So this one we're just going to go around and then up through the middle, down and then up that side. Just see what happens. Last one before we have to wait for the D mode. And this one, again just anyway.
just like that. Right. Again, just blast it with a torch, just check um, afterwards to make sure you haven't put any air bubbles in. And I will see you for the demold. Right, the exciting part. We've all cured. I'm going to start with the normal alcohol inks. Let's set my focus. No, I don't want to because I want to bring it out closer to the camera. What I'll do is I've got a little light here just to get some more depth. Not the same. Strange. Nowhere near the same. Still cool. See that depth. And the next one. Wow. Strange, not so much feathering. See inside that really odd kind of formed shape. That was from the thickness of the resin. And there you go again with that one. Let me know in the comments as well which one's your favourite. This one's number three. And now we're moving on to the glitter ones. Wow. Really see that sparkle. We've got that wide spread in there, which is really good. Definitely get a lot of depth. Number five. Bubble. Could drill that out and fill it with UV. But look at that. See what I mean about <clears throat> it looks like, like a spilled paint pot. And the colours kind of flood out. It's like all the colours are pouring out of that funnel. Number six. A couple of bubbles in there. I did torch it afterwards. And look at that ribbon. I might top glaze these with some UV. And this was the ones where I added the black afterwards. Mm, bubbles again. That one in the centre kind of looks like a, an eye. It's a shame about those bubbles, but never mind. That's super cool. Bit dark, but still really good. Right, this is the last one with the black. Strange again that the feathering's just not. There's a bubble, another bubble. Feathering's kind of not really there, but it's it's a really cool ribbon. <coughs> now. Fingers crossed. This is the one. That's odd, isn't it? It's kind of no sign of the cloud at all. Look at that effect inside. That is crazy. So I'm wondering whether these other two have failed completely. Maybe I didn't add enough white this time. Oh no. It's kind of there. It's, it hasn't got the depth. It's definitely near the top glaze with some UV. And the last one. Kind of muddied together, haven't they? Still different but the colours are definitely kind of muddied together. Right so that is it. Again 
Thanks for returning. Thanks for my new subs. We'll play about with this a bit more. These are the really large ones I've played about with. <clears throat> but I need to do a few more test runs. That's one of them. And this was the other. Definitely need some work doing on those. Right, so what's my favourite? I think has to be the effect in this one. It's almost like a shell. Let me know in the comments, guys. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.